because I could just remember last the first time I came to the stadium, and just for it to be my last time and what was at stake, and you know, for us to be basically having the best season since I've been here, best season for at least a decade as I can think of, and for us to go undefeated at home, you know, it was real big. You also got your I think, first touchdown pass this game. You know, can you get your thoughts on that? No, that, that was something I always wanted to do in my career, to get a touchdown pass. Um, about my sophomore year, I had a pass, but I kind of messed up at practice. So this week, I did pretty good, and I got the opportunity. Coach Ram set me up, and you know, Marcel did a great fake, and we just able to score on that play. Robbie, what does this championship mean to you guys, you know, considering all the things you've been You know, it just means a lot for all of us, especially after coming off of last season. Just all the adversity that was thrown at us with you know, us getting new coaches and us getting a new scheme and you know coming off the bad season we did and how we just all pulled together as a team and us captains as well got the team together and we just brought it together and was able to pull the season off. It was great. Rami, I know you're a, a team guy. I know the other leaders are too. And I have asked you this question before. You know this conference is loaded with great running backs and yet going into the season. Everyone's perception is while they're going to the spread and Robbie's going to get his carries diminished or whatever. I mean, again, can you just talk about going up that competition and you personally saying, hey, I'm a, I'm a running back here in this conference and, and making more? Uh, I'm a just competitor and I try to compete at all levels and just be the best at what I do. And I just know that as far as the running pass thing, they got to stop one. So there's going to be some games where they're stopping me and the pass is going to be open or vice versa. And me and Derek always talk about that and that's what gets us in this situation we are right now. What did you enjoy most about uh, the celebration part? It's just everything. You know, it just all went into a blur. I'm just, you know, it's just crazy. Everybody's so excited. It's just good to see smiles on all my teammate faces. Just everybody, even people who, not, who didn't contribute on the field, they contribute for us. Just as far as scout, helping us in the off season, help pulling us together in the weight room. Just, it was just a great team effort from everybody. Robbie, last night you said something during your tackle that you're always going to be a bulldog. You're always going to come back and um, give back. What is it about Fresno State that just made you feel like at home, I guess? You know, I just always take pride in you know where I came from. And when I make decisions to go places, it's because I really um, respect them and support them as far as my high school. Like last week, I had a bye week. Went to my old high school to check out there, and they sent my finals game. And then when I graduate here, I'm going to be you know, raging about the Bulldogs, just like we do in our locker room. We talk about all our high schools. I'm sure at the next level, they yeah, talk about all the colleges that they play for and things like that. So I'm going to always be a Bulldog, and I'm going to always come here and support. I know it's hard to think about because you still have more games, but what's that one thing that you're going to miss about Fresno State and playing inside, maybe playing inside Bulldog Stadium? I just think just the town in general. You know, this is a football town, and, you know, we all we got out here. You know, we have, I have great, got great support from the fans since I got here and things like that. So I'm going to just miss walking down that ramp, you know. I just always remember when I came out my freshman year and, you know, the band was playing and I turned the corner and I just see the fans yelling and the lights is on. It's, you know, it's just a feeling I can't describe and that's something I'm going to truly miss.